Fellow gardeners, let's talk about one of nature's most incredible garden allies that's probably already working beneath your feet right now. Earthworms are the unsung heroes of productive gardens everywhere, and if you're not actively courting these amazing creatures, you're missing out on one of the most powerful, completely natural ways to transform your soil and dramatically boost your harvests. The science is crystal clear. Gardens with healthy earthworm populations consistently outperform those without them. These remarkable invertebrates don't just live in your soil, they actively engineer it, creating a living ecosystem that feeds your plants in ways that synthetic fertilizers simply cannot match. When you create the right conditions for earthworms, you're essentially hiring the world's most efficient soil improvement crew that works 24-7, costs nothing, and delivers results that will leave you amazed at what your garden can produce. The foundation of attracting earthworms starts with understanding what drives them. Food. These incredible creatures are nature's ultimate recyclers, and they have an insatiable appetite for decomposing organic matter. When you consistently provide this food source, you're not just feeding earthworms, you're creating a thriving underground ecosystem that will revolutionize your garden's productivity. Start by incorporating kitchen scraps directly into your garden beds, but do it strategically. Bury vegetable peels, coffee grounds, and fruit scraps about six inches deep in different areas of your garden beds. This creates multiple feeding stations that will attract earthworms from surrounding areas. The key is consistency. Earthworms will establish permanent residence when they know they can count on a steady food supply. Compost is your earthworm attraction superpower. Whether you're using finished compost or applying compost tea, you're providing exactly what earthworms crave most. The partially decomposed organic matter in compost is like a gourmet meal for these soil engineers. Apply a two-inch layer of compost around your plants monthly during the growing season, and you'll notice earthworm activity increasing dramatically within just a few weeks. Don't overlook the power of leaf mold and aged manure. Leaf mold, which is simply decomposed leaves, creates an irresistible environment for earthworms. Collect autumn leaves, let them decompose for a year, and then work this black gold into your soil. Similarly, well-aged manure provides both food and the perfect texture that earthworms love to tunnel through. The combination of these organic amendments creates a buffet that will have earthworms migrating to your garden from neighboring areas. Your approach to soil cultivation can either welcome earthworms or send them packing. Traditional tilling and frequent digging destroy the intricate tunnel systems that earthworms spend enormous energy creating. These tunnels aren't just earthworm highways. They're your garden's irrigation and aeration system, allowing water and air to penetrate deep into the soil profile. No-till gardening creates the stable environment that earthworms absolutely require. When you avoid disturbing the soil structure, Earthworms can establish permanent tunnel networks that benefit your plants for years. These tunnels act as natural drainage systems during heavy rains and as water reservoirs during dry spells. The earthworm's constant movement through these tunnels also brings nutrients from deep in the soil up to the root zone where your plants can access them. When you do need to plant or harvest, use minimal disturbance techniques. Instead of turning over large areas of soil, Create small planting holes, or use a broad fork to gently loosen compacted areas without destroying the soil structure. After harvesting crops, leave the root systems in place whenever possible. These decomposing roots provide ongoing food for earthworms while maintaining the soil structure they've worked so hard to create. The benefits of this approach extend far beyond just attracting earthworms. No-till practices also preserve beneficial soil microorganisms, reduce erosion, and maintain soil moisture more effectively. You'll find that your garden requires less water, shows improved disease resistance, and produces more consistently high yields as the earthworm population establishes and thrives. Mulching is perhaps the single most effective technique for creating an environment that earthworms simply cannot resist. When you apply organic mulch correctly, you're essentially creating a five-star earthworm resort that provides everything they need, food, moisture, protection, and the perfect temperature. Straw mulch is particularly effective because it breaks down slowly while providing excellent soil coverage. 
apply a 4 to 6 inch layer around your plants, leaving a small gap around plant stems to prevent pest issues. As the straw decomposes, it feeds the earthworms while maintaining the cool, moist environment they prefer. Grass clippings work similarly but break down more quickly, providing faster nutrition for earthworm populations. Shredded leaves create an especially attractive environment for earthworms. The varied texture and decomposition rates of different leaf types provide a diverse food source that supports larger earthworm populations. Run autumn leaves through a shredder or mower before applying them as mulch. This increases the surface area for decomposition and prevents the leaves from matting together, which could exclude air and water. Cardboard mulching deserves special mention as an earthworm attraction technique. Large pieces of cardboard laid directly on the soil surface create the dark, moist environment that earthworms love while suppressing weeds. The cardboard itself becomes food as it decomposes, and the protected environment underneath becomes a breeding ground for earthworm activity. Be sure to remove any tape or staples, wet the cardboard thoroughly, and cover it with other organic mulches for best results. Water management is crucial for earthworm attraction because these creatures breathe through their skin and require consistent moisture to survive. However, finding the right balance is essential. Too little water and earthworms will burrow deeper or leave the area, but too much, and you'll end up creating anaerobic conditions that can actually kill them. Earthworms thrive in soil that feels like a wrung-out sponge. This means the soil should be moist enough that it holds together when squeezed, but not so wet that water drips out. You can install a simple soil moisture meter to monitor conditions, or just develop the habit of checking soil moisture with your finger at a depth of about 2 to 3 inches. Deep, infrequent watering encourages earthworms to remain in the upper soil layers where they provide the most benefit to your plants. When you water deeply, you're encouraging earthworms to create tunnels throughout the root zone rather than just at the surface. This creates better soil structure and ensures that their nutrient-rich castings are distributed where your plants need them most. Consider implementing drip irrigation or soaker hoses to maintain consistent soil moisture without creating waterlogged conditions. These systems deliver water slowly and evenly, creating the stable moisture conditions that earthworms prefer. During hot summer months, morning watering helps maintain soil moisture throughout the day while avoiding the wet conditions that can promote fungal diseases. You know, the decision to eliminate synthetic chemicals from your garden might just be the most important choice you make for attracting and maintaining healthy earthworm populations. Those chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides don't just harm earthworms directly, they destroy the entire soil ecosystem that supports them. It's interesting, synthetic fertilizers create an artificial nutrient environment that actually reduces earthworm activity. These chemicals can burn earthworms' sensitive skin and disrupt the natural soil chemistry that supports beneficial microorganisms. But, when you switch to organic fertilizers like compost, worm castings, and natural amendments, you're feeding the soil ecosystem rather than just the plants. Pesticides, as you might guess, pose an obvious threat to earthworms, but the impact goes beyond direct toxicity. These chemicals eliminate the insects and other small creatures that earthworms feed on, essentially starving them out of your garden. Herbicides are particularly problematic because they persist in the soil and can harm earthworms long after application. Building a chemical-free garden requires patience, but the results, oh, they're transformative. Focus on building soil health through organic matter, encouraging beneficial insects through diverse plantings, and using natural pest management techniques. As your earthworm population grows, you'll notice that many pest and disease problems resolve themselves naturally because healthy soil grows healthy plants that can resist problems on their own. Ready to transform your garden with nature's most powerful soil engineers? These five approaches will have earthworms flocking to your garden beds, creating the foundation for the most productive growing season you've ever experienced. Remember, attracting earthworms isn't just about improving your soil. It's about working with nature to create a thriving ecosystem that supports incredible harvests year after year. If this guide has inspired you to start your earthworm attraction journey, 
Make sure to subscribe to Smart Garden for more game-changing gardening strategies that work with nature instead of against it. Share this video with fellow gardeners who are ready to discover the secret to naturally doubling their harvests. Because when we all grow better gardens, we all grow together.